start it again. Ooh. Did not want to stay running. Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We have a pretty cool car today. A 2005 Chrysler PT Cruiser 2.4 liter turbo with a five speed manual. Haven't seen one in this configuration before. So, <clears throat> what's the customer complaint? So, this is at a local shop. It got towed in here. Uh, the customer was driving it and it just stalled out. Okay, then did a visual inspection, found some chewed wires under the hood, like a rodent damage, uh, replaced a crank sensor, and take it, took it on a test drive, and he said, you know, the technician said, drove around the block just fine, perfect, but <laughs> then the customer came to pick it up, uh, actually, during the test drive, he said it started misfiring, and then it went away, okay. Um, customer came to pick it up, didn't even make it out of the parking lot, it stalled out. He, the technician said sometimes the red immobilizer light stays on, the little red dot, and then you can't start it. So, okay, I mean, let's start from scratch, do a health report first. It doesn't have too many modules. <clears throat> PCM says lost fuel level message. ABS says PCM message is not received. Vehicle theft security system says PCM message is not received. And then the skim, uh, PCM status failure. Very interesting code list. So it seems like we might be dealing with a communication problem. So I wanna pull up a wiring diagram of this network. Um, might as well hook up a scope. If it's an inter intermittent problem, you want the scope hooked up before you you know, do a wiggle check or anything else and then go from there. So let's get the Pico scope uh, on the right wire on this network. And by the way, if I turn the key off, turn it on. So right now, oh, a mobilizer light went out. Okay, so mobilizer light is on right now and the car started and stalled. Let's try again, key off, key on. And okay, it's back on. So the problem is occurring right now. Let's get the scope out, see what's going on. Okay, so here we have the network, the OE diagrams, powertrain control module. We have the SCI receive and transmit. We don't have a TCM since this is a stick shift. So those are, those are pins seven and 12. And then the PCI bus is on pin two. And everything else is on the PCI bus. So we have the ABS module, then it goes to A and C. Hands-free module, remote keyless entry module, instrument cluster, sentry key mobilizer module, that's the skim, airbag, airbag module, um, radio hands-free, and then, yeah, radio airbag instrument cluster, why does it list the sentry key mobilizer module several times? Oh, this is base audio, PT44, PT44. Anyways, let's hook up the bob to the DLC, get a scope on there. Okay, so here we go. Just one channel connected to pin two on the PCI bus. I just put the ground here for now. Um, let's turn the key on and see if we see any patterns. Yep, zero to eight volts. And immobilizer light is off. So we can run the car, it should run just fine. Okay, so this is known good. Now let's try to get it to act up. Keep looking at the screen, key on. 
Now watch it not act up at all. <laughs> yep, red light is out. We can start it again. Ooh. Did not want to stay running. Okay. Try again. Key on. Red lights on. Red lights off. Stalled out. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Our PCI bus still looks fine. Key off. Key on. A little red light is now steady on. You can see there's not much activity on the bus. Okay, let's plug in the scanner, see if we can talk to the module. Okay, we have a P0335 crankshaft position sensor circuit. That would have definitely explain really poor running, maybe even a stall. But the computer is talking right now, but the little red light is on. So, apologize for the glare. Let's back out, go into our skim. Let's see if we can talk to that. Read fault code, serial link external failure, PCM control module status failure. Let's just clear the DTCs out for now. Turn up the brightness, yes. Clear fault code completed, no DTCs. Okay. Vehicle theft security system. So we jump in here, clear the codes out. I guess we just clear all the codes out and then reproduce the complaint, see what comes up first. Just clear that one. Okay. ABS. No well, ABS, traction light came on. Okay. Completed, no DTCs. PCM. Basically, if, if anything sets that lost communication with PCM and the, you know, the class two or um, pin two PCI bus, if that stays normal, not shorted to ground or power, is it possible that the PCM is just going, you know, going crazy? Yes, it is. Okay, no fault codes. Okay, now let's just shut the key off, let it go to sleep. Key back on, red light's on, red light's off, and red light is on constantly. Okay, so let's jump back into our skim, scan this thing for codes. There it is, PCM, status failure, serial link, external failure. Aha. Uh -huh. Obviously it won't start. Okay. Jump to the PCM. I mean, it seems like this PCM is just going berserk. 
which is not unheard of for Chryslers. Oh, I'm turning the key on. Read fault code. Lost fuel level message. It's the only thing the PCM doesn't like. And the red light is off. Oh, red light's on now. I don't know why it keeps beeping. It's the only code stored. Red light turned off, turned on. But our PCI bus is not shorted to power or ground. Uh, at this point, we can try unplugging the PCM and plugging it back in just to verify that the connectors are okay. Um, I'm not worried about wiring, you know, wiring issues here. <clears throat> Uh, one more thing, let's go to the ABS, see if it lost communication with the PCM. Yep, PCM message is not received. And you can see that it's very sporadic. You know, let's just stop it here and let's review the first few screens were actually started up and ran. Right there. That's that's no good. See how how many more messages there are? That was the first screen. So we start it up and then shut it down. Start it up again, it was fine. And then this crap happened. And now, every time you turn the key on, like right there, you went to sleep and you turn it on, you can see there aren't as many messages. So the PCM seems to be offline right there. All right, so we got the scope rolling. I'm just gonna do a little tap test on this PCM, which lives right here by the brake fluid reservoir. definitely offline however it does talk to the scanner um, the rodent damage those wires would they have anything to do with anything maybe maybe not what do we do for the engine computer I want to check all powers and grounds first and foremost before suspecting a bad computer we'll check the connections and kind of go from there okay so next check I got channel 2 of the scope on the purple and yellow wire that's the PCI bus pin 38 connector C1 see the connectors unplugged let's turn the key on and see if the two channels compare the DLC to what's going on out there at the PCM so yep so the wire is doing what it should now I'm going to plug in the engine computer and we'll see if this changes. Alright, here we go. Let's plug it in. So now we have known good. See how many more messages there are. The car should start and run. Yep, immobilizer light is off. 
start and stall. And again, mobilizer light is off. Nice that guy stopped mowing and blowing dust here so I can hear the fuel pump. Let it run for a little bit. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Not happy, not happy. And stalls out. Okay, let's see what happened on the scope. Did the PCM drop offline? So right there, plugged in the PCM. We turn the key off, key on. Key off again. It ran. And right here, da, 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 something happened. Scan it for codes one more time. Save this. Um, I also want to maybe put a third channel on here, just the system voltage, so we can see when it's running, when it's not running. Um, if it's set the crank position sensor code, we'll tap into that right here. Uh, see. See what, um, what we find. Nope, didn't set any CKP codes or anything. This is really looking like a, a weird PCM. Let's see. Key on one more time. Red lights off. Red lights on. It's not gonna run. Is this a failing engine computer? Again, I think we're going back to powers and grounds. All right, so let's uh, keep one channel on the PCI bus. We know the wiring is fine there. Let's go right to the PCM, to this five volt supply, C2 pin 29, and then the CKP signal is gray black, pin 35, CMP is tan yellow, pin 34. Those three, let's put them on the scope to see if we see any, anything interesting. We've gotta make sure that five volt supply stays at five volts. All right, so we got all the channels now. Channel one, PCI bus. Channel two, five volt reference, the orange wire. Channel three is gonna be our crankshaft position sensor. Channel four, camshaft position sensor. So everything's plugged in. Let's see what it does. All right, here we go. So key on, five volt reference is there. PCM seems to be online. It's running fine. Let's see if anything happens here. When it runs fine, it runs fine. <laughs> Apparently, how long will it keep running? Oh, here we go. We just stalled out. Okay, key on. Okay, very cool captures. What, did we lose anything? So, do we see anything interesting in our waveforms? Hmm. Why does this car stop running? So you can see, here's the crank, that's the green, here's the cam. Why did the cam stop before the crank? So, here's one pattern. There's, you know, high, low, high in one cam pattern, then low, high, low, 
low, high, uh, <laughs> let's see, high, low, high, low, high, low. So that's that's the crankshaft, and the cam is you know three, one, three, three, one, three. Do we see anything abnormal when the car stalls out? Three, one, three, three, one, three, and then. You'd expect this to keep going, you know, da, 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 in the duration of, I guess, three of these crank, let's see, one, two, three, four, four crank revolutions, or four crank periods. All right, so one camera revolution and two crank revolutions. That makes sense. Low, high, and then low, high, low, low, yeah, I don't like that, why did the cam signal quit, and is there communication now, let me save this, and we'll play around with it some more, okay, so I did one more test here, started the car, car ran fine, car stalled out on its own, PCI bus continued to be fine. Okay, next page. Restarted the car. Car ran for literally two seconds, stalled out. Start up again, stalled out, and now the PCI bus is, you see the messages have disappeared from the PCM, and this is just a crank, but it did not start. Right here, you can see the, how slow the engine's cranking. And now we have our red immobilizer light. Um, and the PCM doesn't talk. So it's certainly looking like a PCM that is on its way out. That's, I don't see any other reason for this crap. So, is it consistent? Like right here, the cam sensor was doing stuff all the way up until it stalled out. Right? Now, here, see the cam sensor actually quit way before the crank sensor did. What about here? Well, it's hard to say because there might be a, a gap here. Three, one, it should be one, two, three. Hmm. So the computer set a P0335 again, crankshaft position sensor circuit. Very interesting. Okay. So I want to find this camshaft position sensor, unplug that, then see if it runs default on the on the crank sensor. See if it stays running. And maybe you can repeat it. Uh, the other way around, plug in the cam, unplug the crank, see if it stays running. This is, this is crazy stuff. Alright, so I unplugged the camshaft position sensor right here. Let's see what happens. That's definitely the tan and yellow wire. Yep. So our scope should show zero on that, I would think. Let's run it. Key on. Okay, so it's stuck at five. It's running on just the crank sensor, not very well. Stalls out. Okay, so not like that. Pause that and review the data. Okay, so again, kind of inconclusive. Here's where I was cranking it. Everything seems normal. Low, high, low, high, low, high. And it finally fires up right here. And it runs until the next page, kind of poorly.
then it stalls out. Low, high, low, low. So it kind of goofed up right there, I think. We're supposed to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 teeth between the low and the high. And then crank, 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 crank. Nothing. And then you see no communication right here. Crazy stuff. Ah. All right, so we got the fuel pressure gauge on there. Fuel pressure is definitely not lost. This thing just shuts down. Back to the zero three three five. So calling a bad engine computer is one of the hardest things to do because you have to rule out everything that is good. And when you are out of things to rule out, then you can call the engine computer. Everything seems to be good. <laughs> you know, it's doing what it should. Uh, we could put a scope on the fuel injector and the ignition coil to see if just losing injector pulse for some reason, it is just kind of doesn't make any sense. So off camera, I checked uh, the powers and grounds with the test light. Everything's perfect. I'm calling this engine computer. There's nothing else that I see that could be causing this intermittent loss of PCI communication only on the PCM side or the ECM in this case. And you know, it only runs for maybe 10 seconds at most and then just blah 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 blah. You know, stalls out and we can see that the communication goes away. This is just the, re the other modules on the PCI bus talking. The computer's dead in the water. The only reason it's talking to the scanner is because it has the separate SCI transmit and receive lines, and that's it. So, computer's junk. We'll try to get a new one, and um, yeah, that's it. So, that's the diagnosis. If we do the repair, we'll bring you guys along. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.